G'day guys, welcome back. As you can see here, I've got uh, this R58 drone from Flytech. Now this is a toy grade brushed racing quadcopter. I've had this one for a couple of years, easy now. Just had it sitting in its box. I just thought I'll just bring the whole box out today so you can see what it looks like. Uh, this has 5.8 gigahertz FPV. There is no goggles included. I didn't bring any today because I'm just going to do a quick line of sight flight. But uh, this is a pretty fun little quadcopter, guys, especially for uh, beginners into FPV. Okay, so you've got the FPV camera built in. It is tiltable, okay. I think it might be a 25 milliwatt. <clears throat> and it's supposed to stream the 5.8 gigahertz in 720p resolution. Now, it's not too bad. I just don't like how it's got a narrow field of view, that's all. But uh, I've done quite a few, about three videos on this one, guys. Um, back in, I think, 2018 when I did buy this one. I actually bought this one off Wish, uh, that Wish app, uh, online app. So uh, got a pretty decent price on this. I had a couple of coupon codes or points or whatever it was. Back then, uh, they used to do a lot of deals. So yeah, I picked this one off off Wish and I reviewed it on my channel back in 2018 and I uh, had a lot of fun with it so I haven't flown it for a while as you can see it's back in its box so let's get up in the air I did charge it up so it's got batteries included you know you get your your standard uh, you know user manual extra props and uh, screwdriver basically basically the quadcopter okay now um, it also, I think, came with some of these cut-out cardboard pieces, but I, I think I just ditched them back then. It doesn't come with goggles either, so I may already mentioned that anyway. So uh, this also has a buzzer, low-voltage buzzer, which is awesome. So when the battery goes flat, you're going to get, uh, well, you should be, as far as I remember, get telemetry to the uh, controller here, okay? I'll just turn that off for now. And you also got a beeper on the bottom here. So if you do uh, lose the quad, um, you're able to find it. And it does work rather well. I was in one flight where it flew a bit far away and it did help me find it. All right, so to turn it on, little button on the bottom here. The battery itself, you can pull that out and it's got the standard Android USB to micro USB charger. Looks like it's bound. Looks like we're ready to go, yep. Let's see if there's any... I see it flashing. Let me do that again. Yeah, two sticks down the right is the... Uh, is the gyro reset. So we've got three speeds and this is your flip. Okay, so I'll take off in first rate. I just flew another couple of quads, guys. You would have seen the videos on those. Probably just before this one. Put in second rate. I just had a bit of fun with some older quadcopters. Just doing a few revisits today. It's got a bright LED on the front there where the camera is. Now, like I said, uh, you know, in this video, obviously, I'm just li uh, flying line of sight. I'm not uh, flying FPV, but I do have some videos, guys, of when I reviewed this. And you can check them out. Uh, I'll put them in the right-hand corner of the screen. FPV flights, review flight, and all that sort of stuff. Doesn't seem to want to be flipping unless I'm doing something wrong here. Okay, so yeah, the flip is when you push this stick in, it's one of those ones. So your pitch and roll stick is your flips. I think I can do barrel rolls on the go. I can't remember. Let me try. Yeah, you can. Put in third rate. It's a tiny quad. So it's fine a bit of wind here. Yeah, 
Oh, why is it beeping? Well, can I do multiple ones? Yeah, so if you hold that pitch stick down after you do a flip, it just continuously beeps. But it's a zippy little fly, guys. Really good little beginner FPV quad. Yeah, like I said before, the only thing that uh, is a bit of a downfall is the camera. I mean, the camera quality is fine. It's just it's not a it's, a, it's not a wide angle lens that you typically get with all-in-one cameras. But it's a pretty cool little quad anyway. Look, look at the uh, third-rate funnels there. And I'll show you the punch on this thing too for brushed motors. Let me bring it closer. There's a punch, not bad. Pretty quick, especially when it's got a tailwind behind it. Can't remember how long it flies for, we'll soon find out. Probably about eight minutes. I think it's only got a, I'm just guessing now guys, all right, but I think it's only got a 650, maybe 700, I think it's 650. milliamp hour one cell but it doesn't take long to charge you know these days you get all these battery options one two three battery packages back in 2018 and all that you never used to get that it's just you buy the quad that was a nice barrel roll on the go just buy a quadcopter online and you only get one battery then you got to buy your own you know So you, what I like about this one, you could do flips and that on the go. It's pretty fun when you actually got the goggles on and you do it, you know, like do a barrel roll. It's not acro, stabilized. And it's made by the company called Flytech. That's first rate, and it's getting yeah pushed around. That's second rate, and as you can see, it's trying to fight that wind. I'm pushing forward there. Definitely need third rate in this wind. It's even struggling in that now. Look, third rate. See that low voltage buzzer like an MJX quad? You know the old bugs used to do that? Or they still do, I think. But you know, the bugs three and all that. That's what I like about this one. You got that buzzer and we've got a light there too. The red light's flashing on the TX, see that? So I won't be able to do any flips. That's it. Oh, she's landing. That's it. That's the power of the battery. Let me turn that off. And see when I turn off the transmitter, you got a buzzer on the actual quadcopter, a little beeper. See that? Hear that? I'm trying to make you hear it more than see it. <laughs> so that's good, you know. If you lose the quad, that's just showing disconnection. Because I turned it off, that's showing loss of range of signal. And that has helped me out one day when I flew this. Uh, I lost range and uh, it was beeping at me. All right, guys, well, that's it. That's the quick revisit of the, it's called the H825. H825. It's also called the R58. So I've got two model numbers, this one, all right? So uh, that's the uh, quick revisit of this uh, Flytech uh, brushed racing quad um, I'm pretty sure you can get them online still so if you're interested in this one have a look for it that's the uh, H825 from Flytech all right guys so quick revisit there and you just uh, turn it off like that all right all right guys thanks very much for watching 
just a bit of a fun flight with this one. It was rather windy, but good to get it up in the air again. If you enjoyed this video, give it a good old thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and comment below if you've got this one. It's an old school little quad, but uh, not a little, not a bad one actually. You know, it flies really well, especially on a calm day. I mean, these ones, you know, once they got quite a bit of a wind uh, against them, they do struggle in the headwind. But uh, they're really fun to fly regardless. Alright guys, happy flying. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.